Hello, travelers, and welcome back for the next part. And uh, I'm already not very, I'm already not quite used to this uh, checkpoint system. Um, so where we had left off last time, I completely forgot about how it's going. Unless like I just hit a checkpoint, um, it's not quite going to be able to work out like normal LPs, where you just kind of go along with wherever you end up are, and you know, save states and stuff like that. So it actually, at least thankfully, saved one just as I entered this house, which is cool, so it was a perfect timing where all we really missed is going to be this upcoming fight that we ended off at. So I just have to repeat this fight, and this time I'm going to kill the stupid civilians so that I can set a trap safely, <laughs> and then we'll go from there. We repeat this fight, no big deal. Can't quite see where everyone is. I'll set another trap because that was fun. And we'll just start back from scratch. I believe we, uh, all we did was just do this little fight and then we explored the house a little bit. So at least all of that, uh, shouldn't be too bad just to repeat, thankfully. But it does possess, or it does pose a problem for us in the future. I thought there was another- there we go! Sorry, I uh, got a little busy. <laughs> got a little busy shooting dudes as I started to uh, finish the sentence real quick. Holy crap, I almost died. I'm uh, in mortal peril right here. As I was saying. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Sorry, I just let that uh, let the dialogue go without talking over it for a second. Um, but as I was saying, I don't haven't quite decided how we're gonna deal with the whole checkpoint and not respawn issue, just checkpoint issue mostly. Um, oh, good, a full health kit there. I should have ate that first. If it's gonna be something where we just cut episodes off after a checkpoint, but then I don't know, they potentially could be you know weird lengths of time. Who knows? Or if I'm just gonna have to keep backtracking through stuff off screen and uh, you know whatever progress to wherever it was that we last ended off at but I, I don't quite know the best way to do it um, so let me know what your guys suggestions are um, I think I want to say that uh, cutting it off whenever I get a checkpoint is probably the best way to go it will potentially make um, some awkward times in videos like some might be really short some might be really long and uh, I don't quite know the best way to go about that, but that's that's where I'm at right now, that's what I'm really thinking of. And uh, from there, I think we're just about done exploring the rest of this place. Is there any money somewhere else? I forget everything I picked up the first time, but it's not too big of a deal. Um, any more money over here? Is that a wallet? Oh, there's a wallet, so I guess that's something. But no, just some uh, cigarettes. I'm at pretty much full salts, pretty close to it at least. And uh, now we can actually finally progress to where we had originally left off, I think. Oh, here we go, some extra ammo, sorry. Get over there. Thank you. Ah, Silver Eagle Purse. Extra money. What do you know? Ooh, more extra money. Good stuff. Glad I found all that stuff at the end. Then. And another Silver Eagle. Okay, so now this is where we left off officially. And I believe there was a turret up here somewhere, which I'm just going to finish off real quick. Okay, on, one, oh. on one hand, it's probably worthwhile to keep them there so I can use them against allies or against enemies, but I honestly would rather just not have to deal with them. Um, if it was more permanent, like the hacking in Bioshock 1, that's definitely the route I would take. But well, that doesn't seem to be the case here. Ammo. Do I need any ammo? No, I'm full on that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so I don't need any ammo for now. We'll just keep on keep on trekking. Our arrow. We don't have an out oh, there's our arrow. Arrow wants us to go that way, so we're gonna ignore it. Because <laughs> that's how you play video games. Nothing over here. Doesn't seem to be any bad guys down here. 
So we'll take a take a little gander and see what we can find. Some Colombian flags, I guess, because this technically is in America. Uh, oh, here we go. Comstock came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just. He just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope he don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an interesting log. <laughs> oh, well. Don't really know what to say about that one. We're just going to keep on going. And I believe this is where we needed to go. Yep, up there. I forgot all my freaking controls. I have to get that back in track first. Did I check inside these? I see something glowing. So I guess... No, I guess I didn't. But it doesn't look like... Oh, there's money on the other side. Almost skipped money. Probably irrelevant, but hey. I guess I kind of needed the salt, too. Not much, but... Enough. I wasn't at max. Now we can proceed. I feel like I've said that ten times already. What do we have for bad guys up here, huh? Where was that turret I destroyed? Oh, there it is. I was just curious, because I was about to say, like, there was a turret somewhere, so it's probably a place where uh, I needed to be, or a place where I could be, at least. And now I'm all lost. Is this where I came from? No, this is somewhere else. Okay. Getting lost in the sauce. That's where I was, just then. Full health. I still need to find that key, don't I? So I guess it's a good thing if I'm trying to check all these boxes. Whatever the optional quest was. That treasure chest. But it looks like that's everything in this area. The Serpent of Nations. Huh. Looks like a little Chinese dragon of sorts. Just more propaganda. I can't even read that. Something about defending. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. What's around here? Any bad guys? No bad guys. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with no bad guys. For now. Just checking around the corners real quick. I would not expect to see a key in the grass, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Alright, let's progress through this door. Order of... What did that say? Order of the Raven. Huh. This place is strangely confederate. Hey, money. I'm gonna steal all your confederate loots! Some extra salts. No big deal. John Wilkes Booth. Wasn't he the guy who shot Lincoln? I'm not up to snuff on my history, because it's been like 10 years, but I'm pretty sure he's the guy who shot Lincoln. To which, holy freaking crap, like, how can you praise George Washington and, you know, Jefferson the Founding Fathers, and then like the dude who shot Lincoln? Like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, it's a person. Should I shoot him? I think I'll... I think I'll save him for the moment. Look at that picture. They're depicting Abe Lincoln as the devil. That's crazy. I guess everyone here is racist, so that sort of makes sense. Um, as Lincoln's credited with... Get out of here, bird. Uh, the emancipation of the slaves, so... I suppose... They don't necessarily have to like all of it. That he did. Okay, I feel like I should... Explore the other area, the side areas of the house first. But I don't want to start shooting people. Oh crap. And today is the day we celebrate this 
Okay, are these guys bad guys then? I only have a dot, I don't have a reticle. It's not red. <laughs> they're, they're all like walking as if they have to go take a piss. <laughs> they're all like, oh, gotta hold it, gotta hold it while I do this chant. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're bad or not. I feel like they are. They kind of look a little bit like black mages. But, uh, I don't know. They're not, they're not doing anything to me, so I don't really want it. I mean, I guess in, in video game logic, you should just shoot anything, but I try and take a more realistic approach. I don't want to just shoot anything. Um, I see him. You'll be so Oh, you have, you all have bad, bad symbols now. Health bars. That's okay, they're all pieces of Where did you come from? Yeah. Another one's shooting at me. Somewhere. Where did he go? There he is. Two of them after me now. Well, uh, for the most part, that large crowd was actually dramatically simple. So that's cool. Give me some of your loot. And, uh, let's reap the spoils of our victory here. So I guess they were bad. Note to self, the, uh, the raven people are bad. What exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the negro from? From his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from <laughs> wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave, from clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. Wow. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Oh. One, there's the key. That's awesome. I was expecting it to be in like a box. So I'm totally happy that I've uh, just found that when I wasn't expecting to. Two, free them from honest work? Are you kidding? <laughs> they were slaves. Holy crap. Um, okay. Well, that was a very interesting piece. I guess we'll explore the rest of this house. And then uh, I think I'll try heading back to... Heading back to that place with the treasure chest, all the way back there. I didn't think it would just be sitting around. Jeez, I'm kind of lucky I found it then. I figured it would be in a box somewhere. Huh. Well, it seems to be everything on this floor. There were those couple rooms back here. Uh, I almost jumped down and then I realized the fall damage will probably kill me from that, which is stupid, but hey. Alright, there was definitely a dude in here. Before. The dude's gone now, so I guess that's something. All this food is rotten. All this food is disgusting. This isn't even food, man. Ugh. This place is bigger than I expected. I guess it's a good thing I didn't explore the side areas first. I mean, maybe it's not... I don't know, if that makes a circle, then it might not be too big. Cigar tin, nothing in it. Um, some more salts up there. Anything down here? Pistol ammo full. Med kit. Another Voxophone. Columbia gave on to the founders the tools to build a new Eden. They did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him, and the fields of Eden were soaked 
with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Huh. This stuff is actually tremendously interesting. Okay, but it looks like this is actually just about the entire place now. Since this seems to have gone in a circle, which is cool. Uh, this stuff is gross as hell, like for real. Okay, yeah, that was definitely a circle though. So yeah, now it's just time to uh, head back. Which way is out? This way is out. Yeah, and we're just gonna go pick up that uh, that treasure chest, guys. Sweet. Some salts over there. Hope it's not too far back. I assume I can still even make it there, and it's not something that I visit later. I wasn't expecting people to respawn either. That's like something that Oh, was there oil right there? If there was oil right there, I didn't see it. I just kind of threw it to be an area attack. So that was honestly a lucky accident. I heard somebody else screaming. I thought I heard somebody screaming. I don't see anyone else. Yeah, there's, there's somebody down there. I don't know where. There you are. There you were. You cannot hide from me! You do not know who I am? Oh, there's definitely oil here. That's hilarious. That was accidental. I really didn't see it. Not from that distance. Alright, uh, not this way. Do you go somewhere over here? Not- Oh, uh, get off. Uh, was it here? Aha! Making progress. Okay, cool. Oh, it wasn't really that far after all. I thought it was actually kind of far. I believe it was down in here, wasn't it? Somewhere in here? Not entirely positive. Oh no, not, not here. It was in this room. There we go. Sweet! What do I get? An infusion and a salt. Well, that's not that valuable, I guess. Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, let's go with another health first. I prefer not dying nice. than anything else. Oh, a health kit. Okay, well, whatever. I'm glad I found it. Peace of mind is uh, sometimes better than the treasures themselves. Of knowing that you didn't miss something. And knowing that you accomplished the, uh, the finding of something. So now we'll have to go back, but again, like, here's here's that problem. Like, we've done episodes worth of stuff, but I don't know where that checkpoint was to know if it's okay for me just to close it out or not and uh, end the episodes. I really don't know. Um, there was too much combat for me to be paying attention to checkpoints or not if I hit them. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I can progress a little bit more and hope I hit a checkpoint. Maybe I already did and I just didn't know. So that's where it's... That's where it's a little frustrating, unfortunately. Um, the system is... It's fine for gameplay, but it's a little lacking for LP purposes. Which obviously uh, developers are not going to consider when making their game, but it's something that I have to consider as a player of their game. Again, I would love to jump down, but apparently fall damage in this game is ridiculous. Oh, that one didn't hurt me. Thank you. I have to try and find a way. Wait a second. So where do I even go? Oh, back there? Okay, yeah, this looks like an exit. Mostly after one o'clock this afternoon, the scoundrel, believed now by many to be Vox Populi, began his terrible rampage. I don't really want to go in an elevator Trouble just yet. Trouble began almost instantly. Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian peacemakers, before then arming himself and firing into an assemblage of virtuous fairgoers. As of this hour, he is considered wholly responsible. Shut up. <laughs> At least eight God-fearing Colombians to meet their maker? No, way more than eight, dude. Way more than eight. But hey, you started it. You shot first, man. Self-defense. Okay, 
Okay, again, I didn't see a checkpoint thing. Oh, wait, hold on. I thought I just saw one right there, actually. I thought I did, as I opened my mouth about it. What do I have here? Just ammo and stuff? Oof, this is like really kind of scary actually. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not too fond of suspense. So some of this stuff is making me a little on edge. Which is potentially not something that very uh, very easily translates through the rest of the video. Hold on, there's light behind here. Oh, sweet. What a sweet FPS. It has, like, RPG elements. This is awesome. Pushing secret stuff. This is like Doom, man. There's secret doors all over the place and, like, side quests and crap. This is so good. Look at gear. Oh, I got gear! You can only wear four pieces at a time per one type. Oh, it's because I have that DLC gear on. New pants. Melee strike range increased by three times. Holy crap. That sounds amazing. What's the comparison? Killing it with a vigor trap has a 70% chance. I don't really make traps that often. And even then, if I do, it's only 70% chance to become an ally for a few seconds. Eh. Ow. <laughs> um, I just hit my elbow on a desk. Would I rather have melee range or that? I mean, I guess melee range, I'm only going to use it if they're close. To which, increasing the range, it probably doesn't really change how often I'll use it. Can I... So how do I know... I assume I can just, like, switch at any time? You know, I'm going to take the melee range. I can't really exactly tell here, but uh, I'm just going to assume that it worked. Anything else? No, it looks like this secret was just a piece of gear, which, I mean, that's totally awesome. So I'm okay with that. Even if it's not a piece of gear that I'm necessarily going to use or want or like, the fact that it was there is really cool. More propaganda stuff, I don't feel like looking at it. It's creepy. Um, where do I need to go? I need to go that way. So I'm not going to go... Oh, money! I saw something shiny. Nothing else over here. Another voxophone. Sweet mother of Columbia. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword the raven so that we might cover the city with eyes we worship the coffin because it symbolizes the weight of our faith what what the hell Um, are we about to have a boss fight? The hell? That's... wow. Um... It smells like boss fight to me, guys. And I didn't... I don't know when the last checkpoint was. I'm kind of scared now. I don't want to fight a boss! Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay a trap there. I'm gonna lay a trap here. I'm assuming I can lay three traps. Pick up that salt. I'm gonna lay a trap here. And I go down the flank. Oh, thanks, tutorial. Someone's screaming at me. Oh, I see birds over there. Is he coming this way? Kicked his ass. I hope he wasn't a boss. Because kind of that was a piece of cake. Oh, nice raven powers. To do with that happened to that previous guy like five seconds ago. 
Oh great, it's gonna start gnawing my hand off. Or not. Oh, they should have had it like peck off some of my skin. Press to summon murderous probes. Hold and release to create a nest trap. That's cool. So that's like the uh to summon murderous crows to stun and damage your enemies. Stun and damage. So that makes it like the uh the uh the bees from the first Bioshock. Test this out. That seems really cool, actually. That seems really cool. I'm all about status effects like stun and crap like that as opposed to just raw damage. That's really cool. Give me the salt. Okay, now I was actually really kind of hoping for a checkpoint, but um, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess I'll play till I see one, maybe? I have no idea. Another option, if the uh, checkpoint thing doesn't work out, is that I could just like play for a series and amounts of time, and then just kind of cut it afterwards. There won't be a set in stone piece of you know conclusion or intro or anything like that. Episodes will just fade in and out, so I don't know. New hat, burning halo. 70% chance that a melee target is set ablaze and takes 300 per damage over 4 seconds. In comparison to electric punch, which has stun. Uh, do I want stun or do I want damage? Either one of them was only 70%. If I stun them, I'm still going to have to hit them with something else. Um, man, 300, that sounds like a lot. Like, I don't know how much this other stuff deals, but 300 sounds like a lot. I'm going to keep this stun, though, for now. So enter a space is take gear. Okay, I'm just going to take it then. Yeah, 300 sounds like a lot, but I like status effects and crap instead. Shepherd, this Can I get a checkpoint, please? Go right here, please. I didn't get the Monument Island from that station. No more than oh, 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 there you go. Give me a new quest. That means a checkpoint, right? Right? I'm looking at the top of my screen for a checkpoint. I don't see one. It's a little frustrating. So when am I going to hit one? Am I going to hit one? I have no idea. Can I go up there? Can't go up there. I guess I just have to go down here. Maybe I'll get it when I enter this house like I did last time? Maybe? 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 Ugh, game! Okay, well, regardless of where the last checkpoint was, uh, I think this is where I'm going to stop the episode. And at least in this case, I'm just going to record a couple in a row, so I'll get to play anyway. And uh, I won't have to backtrack anything, and we'll figure out from there what exactly we're going to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the next part in uh, our Bioshock Let's Play. Or Bioshock Infinite Let's Play, I should say. I guess it doesn't matter. They're both the same. I'm just going to call it Bioshock. And so we just entered this house after getting some crow powers at the end of last episode. And uh, as we entered, we heard... We heard some woman talking from somewhere in the house. We saw the subtitles for it as well. So I know there's somebody around here. Um, don't know if they're good or bad. There's been a few civilians so far that were not hostile, though a couple of them I killed anyway. <laughs> Just because they were... They weren't friendly, but they weren't hostile. Ooh, crap. I made a noise, too. How would you not hear somebody? That looks like a cop. I'll take this purse first. Um... Yeah, that's definitely a cop. Really? You didn't- oh crap! <laughs> Boom! Walking into my crosshairs. Love it. Literally walking into my crosshairs. You didn't even notice! He just got beat up. You didn't, even, didn't even notice. Is this guy a cop too? Hi. Do you see me? You don't even see me. What the hell? These people are weird, man. 
will die here. You talking about me? You look scary as hell. Something's going on. These people are whacked die. out. I wonder if there was just like a coding glitch or something, like they were supposed to respond. Maybe I shot him from too far away and they didn't uh You won't get far. They didn't trigger their their sequence, their code event, whatever. I didn't trigger their trigger. Okay, well whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna have to figure out where to go. This door looks locked. I'll leave you two alive for now. Where the hell else am I supposed to go? Isn't that where I came from? Oh. Okay. I thought I... I thought I had to go here. I guess I don't have to go here. Where the heck am I supposed to go then? I'm supposed to go around. Is there something else I can jump... Oh, I can jump on that. Okay. I didn't see that before. I assumed the house is where I had to go. Where's the, That's where I came from. Yeah, so the house is where I had to go. That's cool. I didn't know. Can I go down there? Not yet. Oh, I'm gonna crush that dude. Could jump up here, could jump up there. Oh, I missed him! Dang it. No big deal. Missed him, but it's not that bad. I just meleeed the guy instead. That's sick though, being able to jump off and just completely bonsai somebody. <laughs> That's so cool. It makes me want to like hop back on and kill the next guy with it. I wish I shouldn't have drank that. Whatever. Don't care. Cotton candy. Isn't that where I came from? Yeah, that's where I just came from. So, time to progress a little bit more. Silver Eagle. I wish there was a way to pick up like individual items, but it's, it's all or nothing, unfortunately. Interstation leave area. Oh, you know what? Here's probably my freaking checkpoint. We had that whole discussion last episode about checkpoints. This is probably it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should just... Should I just make this the end of it then instead and be a little weird? <laughs> That'd be a weird, uh... A weird conclusion. Mm. Sorry, quick stretch right there real quick. But yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna throw this on to, uh... You know, this current episode that I thought I already ended five minutes ago. So, thanks for watching again, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later. Peace.